language that is being used. I think it's so wonderful that you are even exploring the world of the Jewish language, for lack of a better term, the lingo, yeah. all that that was used during so many different times, politically and socially, just to give you a zinger, just to say I had a schlep. My God, I'm hollishing. I'm hollishing for a bagel. All of these things yeah. that they, all this language, this verbiage that has been, you know, invented um, by Jews still stays here today because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even know what they're saying. You know what I mean? They'll say, I'll just have it with a schmear, mm -hmm. you know, and right away, the deli guy knows, even if he doesn't speak English or Yiddish, he knows what a schmear is. Mm -hmm. And a schmear is going to be a little bit of the uh, cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it's important to know those who used to use Yiddish so many, so many terms, I wouldn't say Jewish language, I would say Yiddish, it would lean more toward Yiddish, but yes, it's still Jewish. Mm 